We went to Antarctica to measure the sea ice and the snow cover on the sea ice. Big unknown in the climate change debate. We wanted to know how the snow cover changes during a snowstorm and how the ice is pushed around through the wind. All snow and ice masses are changing dramatically in Antarctica and in all polar regions. So understanding how the sea ice mass balance changes helps us to complete the picture. For example, if you have more precipitation, which is likely, you generate more sea ice in Antarctica. But if you, at the same time you push out those sea ice masses further to the north, they will melt faster and that will decrease the sea ice. We arrived on board on an Antarctic icebreaker that is called the Aurora of Trellis right before a storm occurred over this particular location. We used a terrestrial laser scanner to obtain a three-dimensional picture of sea ice flows, in which we were measuring at very detailed resolutions of the order of centimeters. Some of the features that we observe in our measurements include the small-scale variations of the surface, for example, caused by snow ripples, snow dunes, some of the layering of the surface of the snow that is actually eroded away, we also can actually see footprints of all of our researchers, belly print of penguins that are just walking around on the surface. Well, there's two benefits from this research. We can, one, improve predictions on the future climate, if we understand these processes better, but immediately we can also make better weather forecasting.